Hi everyone, Dr. Nimichek here. I want to do a quick little video on uh, during pregnancy the omega-3 or omega-6 intake of the mother. Um, as we've talked about before, omega-6 is mainly a product called linoleic acid that's in uh, vegetable oils, plus that gets uh, metabolized into another omega-6 called arachidonic acid that's found in high concentrations of the meat when you feed the livestock, say corn and soybeans. And then you have omega-3s that are found commonly in fish oil and some uh, uh, types of plants. And so the omega-6s are molecules that turn on inflammation. Omega-3s are molecules that turn off inflammation. So you want to have a small amount of omega-6s and a larger amount of omega-3s. So a small amount of vegetable oil or little to no and a lot of fish oil and maybe flax <clears throat> and some things like that. So now during pregnancy, what's very unique is in the uh, third trimester, a uh, woman's physiology is designed to take half of her entire omega-3 store and pour it into the fetus. So you'll have half of say 120, 30 pound woman, half of all the omega-3s into a fetus that's probably a pound or two you know it's really dramatic and uh, and that's a signal from nature that this is important that these omega-3s are critical because they <clears throat> and so what what they find now is two basic studies one if the uh, omega-6 intake is higher that the mothers have a lot of inflammation you know, if they have high intake of basically linoleic acid and vegetable oils, a lot of inflammation in the body, okay? And then another, another separate store, uh, study is if the mothers have a high omega-3 intake, so that's the ones that turn off inflammation, um, the kids do wonderfully. And, and uh, so... The omega-6 intake that causes inflammation is being linked to a whole range of pregnant related, pregnancy related problems like preeclampsia and just uh, uh, you know, you know, preterm uh, rejection of the child uh, and, and neurological problems and things of that sort, whereas the omega-3s are associated with improved neurological, musculoskeletal, adiposity, metabolic functioning. So it's a huge difference in the child. So the takeaway here is if, if you or friends are interested in having a child and you want to you know, maximize your chances of having a, a healthy child, now you take the, the folate that the pediatricians or your gynecologist will prescribe to you, and that's important during pregnancy, and you limit the intake of omega-6s, you use a lot of olive oil because they will help protect you against those omega-6s and you get a big dose every day of omega-3s with a supplement and uh, i think you'll have a uh, uh, a very healthy baby so good luck to you all everybody have a great week bye